Hi, I'm Jocelyn. Welcome to Fast Easy Vegan. So today we're going to be making pozole, which is a Mexican stew soup, and it can be as mild or spicy as you like. Uh, my version is in page, on page 143 of my book, Fast Easy Vegan, which you can find on Amazon if you're so inclined. So I'm going to do something a little bit different today with the soup. Now, normally in the recipe, I just say, you know, red pepper flakes for spiciness. But today I want to work with uh, dried peppers. And the peppers I've chosen to use are guajillo, G-U-A-J-I-L-L-O, which is a mildly spicy pepper and also ancho, which is a dried poblano, so hardly any heat there at all, but they're both very mild peppers. Now, that said, I love spice, I love heat, and if you're really sensitive to it, take it easy. You might disagree with me that it's mild. So let's take a look at these. Um, I have one, this is how you work with these dried chilies. You want to take the stem off, slit them down the middle or the side, whatever, to open them. And you want to take out the seeds and any membranes that might be in there. Personally, I don't mind the seeds because that's where all the heat is. And so you want five guajillos and five ancho chilies, and you're gonna put them, they're like leather and they feel really flat, as in, well, there's no flesh, where's the chili? Well, you'll see. I've got five of each kind, and you put them in a pan just to cover, and then you're gonna bring it to a boil and then you're gonna simmer it for about a half an hour. And that's gonna make this delicious, spicy, soupy sort of uh, reconstituted chilies that we're then gonna put in the blender and that's gonna be the base of our soup sauce or, or add to it. It takes longer, which is why I didn't put it in the book because everything in the book is pretty much 30 minutes or less on the table but the depth of flavor you get from these smoky, dry, delicious, fruity, flavorful, it, it, it's just really worth the extra effort. So that's what we're doing today. So we'll check on these peppers when they're done and uh, we'll get back to the rest of it. Hi. So our, uh, our peppers are done, and I'll show you what they look like when they're cooked. I cooked these down for about 40 minutes, and you can see that there's not, remember they were all covered with water, and now there's not all that much water in there, but certainly enough to blend it. So let me put it in the blender, and I'll show you what that looks like, and then we can put our soup together. Okay, so um, it's nicely blended. I added water to it because we want to put it through a sieve. So any little papery bits of skin will stay in the, uh, sorry about that, in the um, strainer. Yum. The, the smell, it's just such a homey, friendly smell of uh, these mild chilies. So I'm gonna press them through the strainer. You can see why I didn't put this process in the book because it would not have qualified for fast. And it's not, you know, it just, they're steps. It's not hard, it's still easy but it just takes time doing all these steps. And there is actually quite a bit of papery bits here. 
So now we're about ready to add our ingredients. And I think we want four cups of water, which I think I'm gonna put through the sieve so that we can collect as much flavor as possible. And that's about it. Okay, let me show you. So, I don't know if you can see how really papery and skin bits this is, but they're there, so. Necessary, necessary. And then we're gonna add four cups of your favorite veg broth. They all have their unique flavors. For a long time, I used Trader Joe's, and that's fine. But I sort of got tired of the same flavor with everything. So this is Imagine broth. And I'm sure there's a ton out there that's really good. I'm gonna turn the heat on, because we, we need the heat to make the soup. A can, of, a big can of pozole or hominy, as we Americans call it. And a can of corn bits because I don't think that's traditional, but in this house it is. And a can of diced tomatoes. These happen to be fire roasted because I love that smoky flavor. A bunch of garlic. The recipe calls for three. This is a lot more than three. This is more like five, but if you've been cooking with my other videos, you know that I like high flavor. There is nothing bland in my book. I don't do bland, so you can't have too much garlic if you ask me. And, you know, I thought, just for fun, I'm going to put in a can of jackfruit, shredded jackfruit. Jackfruit is kind of sour. But once it cooks down, it will take on, if you cook it long enough, it will take on the flavors like tofu of anything else around it. And that's it. So we've got some salt, if you use it, and I do. That's a lot of soup. I hope we're gonna be really hungry and eat it all over the next couple of days. So. We're gonna let that simmer for a while until that jackfruit has sort of blended with everything else. I can't wait to taste it. And then if it's not spicy enough, we'll add some chili flakes. So I'll see you when this is done. Soup's on. Let's give it a taste. Oh, the smell is wonderful. It's got this deep, rich red broth base to it, and it looks just wonderful. So let's give it a try, shall we? This is good for lunch or dinner or anytime you're just a little hungry. And let's get, taste some of that jackfruit in there. Oh, jackfruit is perfect in there. Traditionally, pozole is made with um, pork. And they cook it way down to its, where it's basically like pork shreds or pulled pork. So jackfruit makes it look very authentic and the flavor really works. Make this. Mm. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna make it spicier, but it's a really nice kind of mellow 
gentle spiciness that it's just, it's good. Let me know if you like it. Talk to you soon.